Today on Here for the Right Reasons. Carly Waddell opens up to us weekly about co-parenting with Evan Bass and if she has any bachelor regrets. Moving on from Bachelor in Paradise to my divorce, I would still marry him. I would still have my children. Um, I would still choose for their relationship to have ended. Plus, Peter Weber and Kelly Flanagan break up again. Becca and Thomas are expecting. Susie Evans goes on a date and Gabby reveals where she stands with Jersey Shore's Vinny. We've got that plus so much more on today's Here for the Right Reasons. Hey guys, Christina Garibaldi here with Us Weekly Deputy Editor Sarah Heron. And Sarah, I don't really see this breakup coming between Peter and Kelly. You didn't? <laughs> I mean, I know that they haven't posted about each other in a while, but I kind of thought like maybe we would, maybe they would do it this time around. No, for sure. Um, I saw Peter and Kelly not that long ago, end of last year, I think November, and they definitely seemed very in sync and very much like back on. And I talked to them about how this relationship would be different this time. And I think for them to like go republic was a big deal but um yeah i just don't think they're each other's people and maybe now it'll stick i'm not sure yeah all right before we get into it a little bit more let's see what you guys had to say about last week's show um so he says maybe clayton and rachel are a better match for me hmm i don't know uh, maybe but i don't i don't see that happening either and then uh m says chris harrison was uh was the best show went down after he left a lot of people still have a lot of uh opinions about that one that will never change and you know what i think clayton and rachel probably would have lasted longer than any other combo of Clayton in his final three, but I don't know if they would have made it all the way either. I don't think so either. All right. So like we said, Peter and Kelly have broken up and he confirmed it in kind of a weird way. He was at this beauty convention in Canada and he was speaking to a beauty expert and he said that he was attracted to a woman's eyebrows. Well, the beauty guru beside him teased that her colleague would get his legs hair free for his future wife. I don't even know what that means. Um, but the bad donation, he replied that I still got to find her. So this um, beauty expert said, ladies, he's still single. He's in Calgary. And he said, I am first time here. So like Sarah was saying before, we broke the news back in April of 2020 that they were fully dating January 2021. They called it quits, got back together in 2022. And now they are over so yeah i feel like if you're gonna get back together again and then you break up it's kind of over for good yeah and i do have it on decent authority that peter might be on the apps and um looking for love that way and a source another source has confirmed to me that they are definitely over so even though this video kind of sparked it um i have we have confirmed it us weekly that they are donezo and i just really like kelly i like peter too honestly i've only had very pleasant interactions with both of them and this would have been like a lovely bow to a bizarre right. season but it, it kind of felt almost like too good to be true they feel like very different people at their core so yeah. Well, hopefully they find love with other people and maybe we'll see uh, Peter back on Paradise this upcoming season because we've been talking about that for a while. I know. I don't think Peter would hang up his reality TV hat. I know he's a pilot. I know he's busy, but it wouldn't shock me. There are a lot more people that would shock me. Um, and you know what? Sometimes Paradise, it works because guess what? Becca Kufrin and Thomas Jacobs revealed last week they are expecting their first child. They shared an ultrasound, a bunch of pictures of them with their dogs, Minnow and Leo. And they wrote, Party of Five coming September 2023. Little babe, we can't wait to meet you, hold you, and watch you grow. We already love you to the moon and back, mom and dad. Um, several people from Bachelor Nation obviously are up in the comments, seemingly shocked. Wells Adams said, wait, what? Serena, who was on the season with them, commented, I'm screaming, so happy for you both. In case you forgot, Becca is the one who proposed to Thomas um, in May of 2022. After less than a year of dating, he followed up with a proposal of his own in October. I'm well, I'm shocked, first of all, you know, that they announced that they were expecting didn't really see that one coming because, you know, they're engaged about to, they're, you know, planning their wedding, but really happy for them. I, you know, if, if you would have told me a couple years ago when they left the beach, not together, that this would be happening for them, I wouldn't have believed you. <laughs> no, totally. And they've also like, as far as you can kind of keep a low profile in Bachelor Nation, I yeah. wouldn't say I feel like I'm over like loaded with Becca and Thomas content. No. So they are definitely the real deal. That's so exciting for them. I feel like we're almost in like a bachelor baby boom a little bit, mm -hmm. um, which makes sense. You know, there's a lot of breakups in the COVID era and now we're in the baby boom era. So good for Becca and Thomas, honestly. Love to see it. Love to see it. Well, Susie Evans is getting back out there and she revealed that she went on her first date since her breakup with Clayton. She said on TikTok, it really felt so low stakes with this first date, but it ended up being maybe the best or one of the best first dates I've ever been on. The only thing is that he doesn't live in LA. 
day. So I, she almost didn't go for that reason. And I was like, how serious are you? Honestly, we hit it off. It was my first official date. Like I said, since being, um, since her relationship last is September, she said that it was hard for her to date because she said that people want to chat on the apps and don't have patience to go back and forth a bunch of times. So she said, I knew the vibe was good immediately because we both made a gross joke about going to Taco Bell instead. And the waitress didn't think it was funny, but we did. We were both doing weird accents and it just got so weird. And I haven't felt like I could be myself with somebody that quickly in a long time. Good for her. Yeah, it must be so interesting when you date like in the public eye-ish. Yes. For a lot of reasons, because one, like you could be spotted out together, but also like... I feel like the, the, like, they don't limit their, you know, when you're on a dating app, usually you're like, I want to be in this radius because yeah. I can't just fly to this place or have a, you know, engagement in this place and like get there and really entertain a lot of those options. And I feel like when you kind of have a little bit of notoriety, there's like a reason to potentially long distance date or go outside your like school. Um, sometimes they off do the opposite and go bachelor nation. Other times I feel like they end up dating people from God knows where because they can. So good for Susie getting out there is the first step. Definitely. Well, um, another one of Clayton's ladies, um, Gabby, Wendy, she revealed where she stands with Vinny Guadagnino from Jersey shore. Um, she, who she called really smart and hot. She recently told Caitlin Bristow, I don't really know why it's not a thing. We do chat all the time. He was sliding into my DMs the other day and we're past this, but I'm like, are you flirting with me? And he's like, um, yeah, now I'm nervous. She went on to say, I was like, just tell me you like me. He was like, I like you. I know it's cute. He has a busy schedule. He's always filming Jersey Shore and has some other exciting things coming up. And he hates LA. He lives in New York. So I'm trying to get him to come here, but never say never when it comes to us. We'll have to see. I don't know if they could, like we were saying before, you know, long distance, if they could do the bi-coastal thing. Vinny did live out in LA for a little while. He came back. So it doesn't seem like he's going to be making the move again. But I mean, their flirt flirtation is really cute. And I guess... She was, wasn't she on that date with Alan from Dancing with the Stars? But I guess that didn't go anywhere. She was. I think she told Caitlin it wasn't really a date, yeah. but I think maybe Alan might have thought it was a date. It's kind of what I got from it. But also Alan, I think, is just very, like, flirty. And I think yeah. that she's just – Gabby is very much just, like, out there doing her thing. Um, I also feel like this Gabby Vinny relationship could have had a better chance or maybe would have had legs if she wasn't still with Eric when she started Dancing with the Stars. Because yeah. this they might have had, like, a friendship that then – you know, took on this little flirty thing, but she was very much with Eric until almost the end. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, Vinny and her went on tour and were flirting on Instagram. So I wonder if she started dancing with the stars single and they spent more time together, if there would have been like a foundation that they weren't ready to like just chalk up to a flirty friendship. But who knows? True. Well, I still ship it. I still hope it happens. I think they would be great together. Well, this was interesting. I know you had a big interview last week with Carly Waddell. We haven't heard from her in quite some time ever since really her split with Evan. She was releasing new music and you guys chatted, right? We did. Yes, we talked about co-parenting. We talked about bachelor regrets. And it was really great to hear from Carly. She's a very positive person, but yeah. obviously understands that like, there was questions about her and Evan when they were together and there was questions when they weren't together. So here's what Carly had to say. Yeah. How is your co-parenting relationship with Evan? It's really easy. He's done this before. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. he has three older kids. Um, he's the oldest one is now like, gosh, how old is he now? 21, 22. And the middle one's going off to college. Like his kids are older. He's raised them since they were babies. He knows what he's doing. They go over there every other weekend. And I remember at first I was like, oh my gosh, like what are they doing over there? But now I'm just like, he's got it. Like it, if there's ever a problem, like a sickness or something, then he, we talk about it and we work it out. But we're very, it's just, it's not a problem. It's very easy. You obviously seem to be in an amazing place right now. And it's been a couple of years since a lot of stuff unfolded. What would you tell the Carly one, the Carly who was going on Chris Soul season, but then oh, the Carly God. who kind of at the end of the bachelor journey, what were the, what were the two things you would tell the, those versions of yourself? Um, well, the Carly uh, on Chris Soul season, I think I would say, so my brother, you know, my brother was on Desiree season. So right. His advice was be Carly, but don't be like all the way Carly. And I think I would give myself the same advice <laughs> that my brother would have given me. Um, but there's a lot of times that I like to stand up for like what's right. And I'm like, I'm like, I'll always stand up for justice and for other people. It's actually way easier for me to stand up for other people than myself usually. But um, I think that would be my advice for soul season. At the end of Bachelor in Paradise, uh, was that the next thing you would? Yeah, either end of Bachelor in Paradise and then maybe like 
after your relationship ended? Um, okay. So after Bachelor in Paradise, I mean, I really was, I followed my heart. You know, that's one thing I could, will always say about me. That is never going to change. I love love. I, um, I appreciate a good love story, however it unfolds. From the beginning to the end, uh, I still would do everything exactly the same way. Mm -hmm. Even, you know, moving on from Bachelor in Paradise to my divorce, I would still marry him. I would still have my children. Um, I would still choose for their relationship to have ended. I think, you know, in hindsight, um, I really am in a great place and he seems to be in a really great place. So I think that was the right choice for us. Our kids are so young. They don't even know that we were ever married. They have no idea. They don't get it. So um, as kind of sad as that is, uh, I remember uh, the divorce mediator was like, they're never going to remember. And I was like, oh, that's kind of sad. But I'm like, no, that's actually really great. Because, you know, if mommy gets a new boyfriend, daddy gets a new girlfriend, if we get married, there's there's never going to be that like, I don't like her because that's not mom. You know, I know mm-hmm. that, that that won't be a problem for us. So um, but no, I would do everything I would do everything exactly the same. I really would. I mean, it was hard and it sucked so bad. Um, but it was all the right choices. You know, I love that she said she has no regrets. She'd go back. She'd marry him again. She would, would break up with him all over again. But, you know, music, not about Evan. <laughs> music, not about Evan. They are still, like, co-parenting. Yeah. She said that she is the kids 80% of the time. She obviously has her kids are a priority, which is why she wouldn't take anything back. But um, also very interesting, if you listen to the full interview, she does go into Julia Kinney, who was on the, her season with her and then dated yeah. J.J. Lane. She's marrying Evan's brother right. um, this summer. And Carly is not going to the wedding Basically because Evan's family is going to be there. So as good a terms as they're on, that was a hint of like, okay, maybe, you know, we're not besties, but I think they have a healthy co-parenting relationship. And I just thought that was an interesting little tidbit. Yes, it was interesting. And, you know, I thought like it was interesting too. She was like, you know, our our kids aren't even old enough to even remember us even being married. So it was like an easier transition, I guess, because that's all really they're ever going to know. So I I thought that was interesting too. There was, it was a, it was a great conversation. So you guys should definitely listen to it on the here for the right reasons podcast. If you want to listen to the full thing, Um, but let's get to our social media spotlight. We have another bachelor, like you said before, bachelor baby boom, Becca Martinez is expecting her third child. And I absolutely loved her pregnancy announcement. She used like this claymation stop motion video. I thought it was really um, interesting and a clever way to kind of to to make your pregnancy announcement. It took me back to art class when we yes. watched those videos of like the claymation and I can't remember what it was called, but i um, very happy for Becca. She's been with Grayson for a long time now. They had their first daughter pretty early into their relationship unexpectedly. Then they had a son. Now they're engaged. And now this is baby number three. And you know what? When we met Becca on Ari's season and then she like went missing and that whole wild scandal. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't think we saw a mom of three like not that far off in her future, but like good for her. She good seems her. to have it all together. I love that. And speaking of having it all together, it looks like Blake a few years later has returned to stagecoach. And this time things are a little bit less dramatic. He went with his girlfriend, uh, Giannina from Love is Blind, and they took on stagecoach. And hopefully it was, like I said, a little less dramatic than it has been in the past for him. And he had a gig. I think he DJed. Yes. Right. Yeah. So it, he's Super come full circle. <laughs> Love to see it. Love to see it. All right. Well, that is it for this week's episode of Here for the Right Reasons. Like we said, if you want to listen to the full interview with Carly, listen to the Here for the Right Reasons podcast. Keep commenting, keep subscribing, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.